My name is Marcus, and I want to tell you about the time I almost killed myself. I was 18 my senior year at Richard Jones High School, and I was in the special ed class. Ever since I was little, I had a, new, a harder time than the other kids, and I used to get teased about it all the time. But I never thought much about it. There were just little kids complaining something they didn't understand, calling me stupid. It hurt, but it never really affected me. But as I got older, the teasing and bullying got worse. They would laugh at me, excuse me, out of groups and say hurtful things like he's a moron, he's worth it. His mom probably drunk while she was pregnant with him. It's as usual, I was always ignored him. But it came back to me when as I was sitting in the cafeteria trying to eat my lunch and someone came and tapped me on the soldier. And as I turned around, he stepped under under my lunch tray. I saw the note, look around, then I opened it, and the note read, Nobody wants you, you were a mistake, and you should kill yourself, die. I closed the note, put my head down, and cried. I always knew people could be me, but I didn't understand why a problem I was done with and had been done with my whole life had to do anything with them. When I went home, I tried to talk to my mom about it, but she was too busy to talk to me as always. I went to my room, started thinking about the note from the cafeteria and all of the bullying I experienced throughout the years and started to cry again. I wiped the tears from my eyes and saw my pill bottle. I decided that very night to swallow all the pills. I wrote a note to my mom, sat down and started to take the pills, but then my mom came in my room and saw what I was doing. She called the ambulance after the hospital. Me and my mom were in the dining room talking about the events leading to a almost future, future situation. After talking, we both came to agreement that she would try not to be so busy and talk to me more, and I would come forward more. I transferred to another school and made some friends. My story had a happy ending, but there, there, but there are so many people like me with the same or worse problems who cannot say the name. I'm sharing my story because I know there are many of you out there dealing with the same issues too. And I'm here to say you don't have to end it all. There's always someone to talk to, even if you don't think there is, or you are too embarrassed. Trust me, there is someone to talk to, and you shouldn't be embarrassed. Ask for help. All right,